so map is a function reduce is a function map function takes the input key and value gives the output gives a particular intermediate output reduce functions take the input whatever is the output of the map function reduce function take that as input and gives the final output so what exactly map takes as input and what exactly map gives as output so map function so if you want to count the number of words I mean what are the total number of words in a particular given data file or if you want to count the frequency of each word how do you do that simplest way I mean how do we divide this whole problem into map reduce we just write the map program we will just take a particular document go line by line in each line whatever is the word map function does simply one thing that is it will take the word attach one take the word attach one as it just takes every word in every line of that document it will take all the words attach one that is just the frequency so that is what map function is doing map function simply takes every word in the input document and gives you the word and one that is the key value pair as output it takes key value pair as input it gives key value pair as output that is what map does what reduce takes reduce takes the output of map as input that is key value pair that is generated by map will be given as input to reduce and then reduce will finally sum up it will take each and every word sum up the frequency of each and every word we will get into more details of this so first let's discuss about discuss about map function map takes key value pair as input key and gives key value pair as output so a particular key value pair is taken as input so let's dig deep into map function so maps input is key value pair what is the key text document name whatever is the name of the document it can be anything you can name it it is insignificant so key can be anything so map function takes the document name as key and what is the value the contents of the text document whatever is the lengthier text that is the value so document name and whatever is inside that document map function takes that as input and then map function runs its function what does it emit as output map function by taking that uh, contents of the text document as input it emits each and every word along with value one so output of map function is key that is the actual word and the value associated with that key is one so map function takes key value pair as input key gives key value pair as output they, these two are different key value pairs the input key value pair is key is document name value is contents of the document within the output key is word so the output will have so many key value pairs the map output will have so many key value pairs uh, the key is word value is the one simply it puts one against every word so we will see more details if you still don't understand this let's see what exactly map does so map this is the function that we are defining key and value are the parameters key is the document name value is the text of the document for each word w in value so value is nothing but the text of the document so for each word w in that text of the document emit w comma 1 we are emitting a tuple that is w comma 1 that word is w comma I mean whatever is the word that is w and 1 so maps takes the map function takes key value pair as input so key is text document name value is the content output is each word and 1 is output so if this is the input laptop screen issue laptop screen problem screen size issue if this is the text that is there inside one text document then what does map function do so the map function is taking input as key and value key is laptop dot txt the text file name value is review underscore text whatever is this whole whatever is this whole uh, three lines that is the value for each w in this it will emit for each word it will emit just one a word comma one word comma one will be the 
output so if you apply this map function on this data the output will be like this if you take first line it will go through this map function it will get the output as each word followed by one laptop screen issue laptop comma one screen comma one issue comma one that's what map does simply map function takes that as input so second line laptop screen problem so if you take the second line map function if you apply it on it each word followed by one each word followed by one that is the output of map function remember map function is output is not the final output map function gives you the intermediate output this will be taken as input for the reduce function and this is the intermediate output that we have at the end of finishing the map process then we get into reduce function what exactly reduce takes reduce takes the input from the I mean it will take output of map function as the input so reduce function takes the key value key and value as the input key is each word and value is all counts list how many ever times each word appears if this laptop appeared thrice reduce will take laptop comma one comma one comma one as that list of all the number of words that it has appeared as input so reduce function will take each word and its frequency as input each word and number of ones as input and output it will just simply sum up all these ones and give it as output so how does that work so reduce function if you see the reduce function the input parameters are key and set of values key is a word value is iterator or counts basically what we are doing in reducer is we just take each and every word we'll start the count and result equal to result plus one basically the count function count equal to count plus one kind of thing it will finally emit each word and sum of number of times or the count of uh, the total count of ones that is the word frequency word count so if this is the map output if you see if you remember map output was simply each word and the and the frequency and then shuffled key value pairs because we can some of the keys are same laptop laptop so we can just uh, shuffle and then simply prepare it for reduce so we shuffled and we simply taken all the keys and the corresponding values so some keys uh, have more than one value here screen appeared thrice like that so this is the final key value pair or shuffled key value pair and then reduce function it just takes the key and values as input and then sum all ones or whatever how many ever ones are there it will take as the input and then it will sum up and give us final output so reduce function take this as input and gives up this as output so reduce function whatever if you press it here uh, if you uh, pass it through reduce function laptop is appeared twice so reduce function this will just give each word and sum of counts or sum of uh, the frequency once number of times that word appearing as the output so that is what reduce function is doing so reduce stage is not just reduce it is actually shuffle and reduce so reduce stage is a combination of shuffle stage and reduce what is shuffling here each key I mean some of the keys are appearing more than once so we just shuffle them and just slightly adjust them so that we have a unique key and whatever are the corresponding values so reducers job uh, is just take the output from the map and give the final output so once uh, the data is processed the final data will be uh, output will be sent to HDFS